for our next news special report. Tonight we're unpacking a tale of two Christmas messages with drastically different receptions. On one hand, we have Donald Trump's bold Christmas proclamation resonating with a powerful, unfiltered clarity that has become his trademark. This message, far from the typical holiday platitudes, cuts through the noise speaking directly to the heart of America's concerns. And on the other hand, Colorado's Governor Jared Polis' well-intentioned but misguided Felice Navidad performance has struck a discordant note, highlighting the challenges of political outreach in today's diverse America. Trump's assertive stance contrasts starkly with Polis' tone-deaf attempt showcasing the former president's knack for capturing the pulse of the nation. So join us as we dive into these pivotal messages, dissecting their impact and underlining their significance in our republic's ongoing narrative. So stick around for our final thought, where we'll reveal the deeper implications of these events for the American people. And before we delve into Trump's explosive Christmas message, a quick note on something equally groundbreaking. You know how we bring you top-notch news every day. Well, it's made possible by our incredible sponsors. Think of Trump's relentless pursuit of what he believes in, unwavering and compromising. That's the kind of dedication our sponsor, healthwithgary.com, shows in their quest against aging. They offer a special type of collagen far superior to typical anti-aging products. It's about maintaining resilience in the face of time, much like Trump stands resilient against his critics. Thousands have witnessed its benefits and get 53% off and additional bonuses now by visiting healthwithgary.com. The link's in the description. Now back to Trump's fiery holiday message. As we delve into the heart of our special report, we find two vastly contrasting Christmas messages that have sparked intense public reaction. First, let's talk about Governor of Colorado, Jared Polis, and his attempt to connect with the Latino community through a rendition of Feliz Navidad. This move, intended as a heartfelt gesture, unfortunately fell flat, drawing criticism for its perceived pandering. The video, initially shared on Polis' Spanish-language social media, quickly spread across various platforms, igniting a wave of backlash. Get ready for the cringe. Watch. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Man, that was, that was embarrassing. Just even watching it. Ooh, I feel dirty. Um... Now, of course, the clip showcases his off-key attempt to sing the festive song, which many have criticized as a clumsy and tone-deaf effort to appeal to Latino voters. They're probably mocking him in their living rooms. The incident underscores the complexities and pitfalls of political outreach, especially in a time when authenticity is highly valued by the public. In shifting gears, we turn to former President Trump's Christmas message, which stands in stark contrast to Polis. Now, Trump, known for his direct and unapologetic communication style, delivered a potent and straightforward message that cuts to the core of current American sentiments. In a post on True Social, he extended holiday greetings, but with a twist that reflects his ongoing fight against what he perceives as political corruption and bias. Trump's message, while provocative, resonates with a significant portion of the American populace. He doesn't shy away from naming his adversaries, including crooked Joe Biden and deranged Jack Smith, accusing them of engaging in a witch hunt against him and his movement. Now, this straightforwardness is a breath of fresh air for many who are tired of political correctness and seek more transparent, honest discourse. You can see the message here. It extends beyond individual grievances, addressing broader national concerns such as open borders, economic challenges, and military policies. His ability to articulate these issues in a manner that directly speaks to the frustrations and anxieties of many Americans is unmatched. Now, you can see at the bottom, he says... All electric car lunacy. He goes on and on. Merry Christmas to all, including crooked Joe Biden's only hope, deranged Jack Smith, the out-of-control lunatic who just hired outside attorneys fresh from the swamp to help him with his poorly executed witch hunt against Trump and MAGA. Included also, uh, included also our world leaders, both good and bad, but none of which are as evil and sick as thugs we have inside our country who within their open borders, inflation, Afghanistan surrender, green news scam, high taxes, no ener energy independence, woke military, Russia, Ukraine, Israel, Iran, all electric car lunacy, and so much more are looking to destroy our once great USA. May they rot in hell again. Merry Christmas. <laughs> of course, that could be very polarizing for some, but it nonetheless captures the essence of the current political and social divide, offering a clear and distinct perspective. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the other side of Trump's Christmas communication. 
In a separate post, he shared a message centered around the true spirit of Christmas, focusing on the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. This message, filled with reverence and hope, offers a glimpse into the depth and complexity of Trump's public persona. Watch. As the President of the United States, it's my tremendous honor to finally wish America and the world a very Merry Christmas. For Christians, this is a holy season, the celebration of the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. More than 2,000 years ago, the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary. He said, do not be afraid. You have found favor with God. The angel told her that she would give birth to a baby boy, Jesus, who would be called the Son of the Most High. Nine months later, Christ was born in the town of Bethlehem. The Son of God came into the world in a humble stable. Whatever our beliefs, we know that the birth of Jesus Christ and the story of this incredible life forever changed the course of human history. There's hardly an aspect of our lives today that his life has not touched. Art, music, culture, law, and our respect for the sacred dignity of every person everywhere in the world. At Christmas, we give thanks to God and that God sent his only son to die for us and to offer everlasting peace to all humanity. And we recognize that the real spirit of Christmas is not what we have. It's about who we are. Each one of us is a child of God. That is the true source of joy this time of the year. That is what makes every Christmas merry. Above all, during the sacred season, our souls are full of thanks and praise for Almighty God, for sending us Christ, His Son, to redeem the world. Tonight, we ask that God will continue to bless this nation, and we pray that He will grant every American family a Christmas season full of joy, hope, and peace. God bless him. In the video, he speaks eloquently about the historical and spiritual significance of Christmas. He touches on the themes of peace and hope and the sacred dignity of every person influenced by the life of Jesus Christ. His profound message stands in sharp contrast to the controversial tone of his earlier post, showcasing Trump's ability to navigate different communication styles effectively. Now, these two messages from Trump, one fiery and direct and the other reflective and spiritual, exemplify his unique approach and leadership and communication. He's not one to conform to traditional political expectations, but instead chooses to express his views in a manner that is both authentic and impactful. The reaction to Trump's messages, as expected, are varied. His supporters admire his candor and the way he fiercely addresses issues head-on. Critics, however, view his, his, direct, his directness as divisive, yet what can't be ignored is the undeniable impact of his words on the national conversation. Now, in contrast, Governor Paulus' attempts, though perhaps well-meaning, highlights the challenges faced by politicians in their efforts to connect with diverse communities. The fine line between genuine outreach and pandering is a tightrope that many politicians navigate, often with mixed results. As we analyze these events, it's crucial to consider the broader implications. Trump's unfiltered approach to communication has reshaped political discourse, setting a new standard for directness and transparency. His influence on the political landscape remains significant, demonstrating the power of clear, bold messaging in today's complex and often nuanced political environment. Now, in closing, if you got value from this report, tap subscribe. Staying informed is more important than ever, and our commitment is to bring you the most direct and honest analysis of the day's most pressing issues. Now, as we conclude tonight's report, the contrast between Governor Paulus's misguided attempt at cultural outreach and President Trump's robust Christmas messages couldn't be starker. Paulus's tone-deaf performance serves as a cautionary tale of pandering gone wrong, a misstep that undermines the genuine efforts to connect with diverse communities. It's a stark reminder of the pitfalls of insincerity in political communication. On the flip side, Trump's unflinching straight-shooting approach, whether it's in his confrontational missives or his more reflective spiritually-infused messages, demonstrates the power of authenticity and conviction. His ability to resonate with the American people speaking directly to their concerns and aspirations sets a new standard in political discourse. 
In the landscape, often muddled with political correctness and ambiguity, Trump's clarity and boldness stand out, offering a refreshing and much-needed perspective in our republic's ongoing narrative. His messages, both fiery and contemplative, are not just words. They're a rallying cry for a nation yearning for truth and leadership. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.